Deped Undersecretary for Finance Anna Lynn Savia, in a Facebook post on Thursday, March 11, said that the National Performance Management Team, NPMT, met to discuss the results of the evaluation of the 2019 PBB and the ways forward regarding our performance management as a department. Savia noted that the efforts of the NPMT and the Secretariat or the team to work on the submission, follow-up and coordinate on the compliance or eligibility and appeals made to the Interagency Task Force, IADF, AO25 turned the PBB 2019 into a reality. The PBB is a top-up incentive given to personnel of bureaus or delivery units in accordance with their contribution to the accomplishment of their department's overall targets and commitments. The AO25 TF, DEPED said, sets specific conditions and reviews the agency's accomplishments within a fiscal year to determine the eligibility of the department and its personnel to receive the bonus. In 2012, the Executive Order, EO, 80 was issued directing the adoption of the Performance-Based Incentive System, PBIS, for government employees which consists of the Productivity Enhancement Incentive, PEI and the PBB. Based on performance-based incentive system, frequently asked questions posted on the website of the The Official Gazette, the amount of PBB to be received will depend on the performance of each employee and the unit that he or she belongs to in an effort to foster a culture of teamwork within each unit and within the department itself, especially if the latter has different kinds of outputs and services to deliver. It was also noted that the best performer from the best performing unit or best bureau will get a PBB of P35,000, the better performer from a better bureau will get P13,500, while the good performer from a good bureau will get P5,000. However, it was explained that the minority of poor performers will get no PBB.